Well, I'm going to I'm going to tell you something that you're not going to expect. Go on. Both. Both. Oh, it's signed this. Hi, I'm Ed. And I'm Anna. We run a wedding business from Ed's family's 15th century chateau near Bordeaux. On this channel, you'll get to see what our life is like while discovering Bordeaux, surrounding area, and what the wine world has to offer. Well, hello there, Ed, on this beautiful foggy morning at Chateau Lagorce. Hello. Welcome to a foggy Lagorce. Before we get going on this vlog, I just wanted to tell you about two really interesting points. First of all, we're having our first ever gourmet wine tasting from the 15th to the 18th of October. There are still a few places left if anybody fancies coming out, meeting me, myself and Anna and drinking some really nice wine. We also have some special guests coming to help us with that tasting, so that'll be really interesting too. And second of all, we shall be doing daily vlogs from the 27th of September, at least for a week, to celebrate the fact that we're back on Chateau DIY in the UK. Sorry for everyone else around the world, but 27th of September. We're on the first week of Chateau DIY, 4 p.m., so hope to see you all there from the UK. Anybody else that can't get a VPN, not that I'm uh, endorsing using a VPN, just have to wait a little bit longer. So to actually celebrate the fact that we're on the first week, which is really good for us, we're gonna try to be doing a vlog every day. So once you've finished watching Chateau DIY, that evening, if you haven't had enough of Ed Nana, well, you'll have a vlog to watch too. Now that the wedding's finished, um, we only have one client left this year, and um, we're back at Vilnav and we've got to try and get the build at Vilnav finished off as quick as possible. Now, we don't know what the weather's gonna be like, so if it's bad weather, we're gonna start a project inside. If we start a project inside, we're gonna finish that project inside, otherwise we're gonna be kind of all over the place. But really, I need to get the outside finished off because the bad weather's gonna come in a couple of months time and I've got quite a bit of work to do outside. Um, so I'm gonna talk through what we've got to do outside. We're also gonna show you the extension where the garage and the guardian apartment or um, you know cottage is. And then also we've almost finished the master bedroom, so we're gonna show you that too. But to start with, I'm gonna go through a bit of the boring stuff and then we're gonna get onto the really interesting stuff. Basically, um, I've got quite a bit of work to be doing outside and I'll, I'll just forget everything if I don't write it all down. So, Anna, are you going to come and look at the plan? I am coming gonna... to have a look. Go so, on, Ed. Okay, I'm excited I'll, I'll, to see. I'll show you the plans, Anna. Yes, please. Okay, so we do have drainage issues. Basically, when we've got planning permission, we have to take care of all, all uh, roof water ourselves. So I'm going to have to put some French drains in. So I have three drain spouts that I have to dig trenches for and I'm going to connect them all up on this side and then do some drainage there to get rid of uh, the water on that side and then over on the other side near the pool I'm going to have to those three together and do some drainage over here again staying away from trees. So looking at this plan Anna um, there's a bit of kind of like maze of trenches I'm having to do mainly for drainage from uh, water off the roofs and then got to get some ele uh, electricity to the little apartment that we're going to show you around and also down to the gates. We've also got to get gas in um, but why don't we go have a look at the apartment extension there with the garage. Yeah, good idea. And then we'll come back and have a look at the rest. Let's go. So this is going to be the uh, doorway to the apartment Right now, we've got the roof water that's just pouring everywhere, so we've got a lot of water in at ground level here, but that obviously needs draining off with trenches. And then here, you're gonna come into the apartment. It's gonna be a kitchen, dining, living room. Um, and then down the back there, we're gonna have a bedroom and a bathroom. And you're gonna go through this doorway. So we're going through in into another bedroom. Hmm. And then uh, here we're going to have a 
Cough like thing. A, like, like a, a wall. And then uh, afterwards, it's the kind of wash up area, boot room and things like that. So if you, if you come in from um, being out somewhere, you're going to park your car here in the garage and uh, come straight in here, take your shoes off and things. And, and like I say, for washing and things like that. This is all going to be... Uh, the garage. Yeah, and this is going to... This is all going to be um, like atelier style, so it's got these little kind of black uh, windows and a little black black door, like black frame things. So nice, I didn't know cool. about that. Mm -hmm. All this is obviously going to be plasterboarded, and then that's where we get down into the cave. Cave, yeah. So all the all the uh, plants and stuff are just all shot up over summer. So first things first here is to strum it off and then we can get going on these trenches. So once we've finished all those kind of boring trenches, then I have to uh, get on with uh, pouring a, a slab for the driveway in. And then we're gonna be um, cobblestoning the, the driveway in. Uh, we've got a bit of slab to pour at the front, either side of these arches and pillars. So here and here. And then, of course, this huge area here where we're going to be pouring for the pool and around the pool area. All this is terraced. I can't wait to see it all. Should we go have a look at the pool area where it's yes. all going to be? And then the last thing, we're going to come back and have a look at lights. So the pool area and terrace is going somewhere around here. Um, to put it in perspective, I'm going to just pace out about 15 metres um, to show you where the corner of the pool area is going to be. I think it's walk, somewhere around here. There, that's going to be big. You walk really fast. I was trying to keep up. <laughs> well, it's, yeah, it's, it's going to come right out to about here and uh, across to there. We're going to be about three meters short of the neighbor and uh, we're going to be building a nice wall there, uh, like a rubble pointed wall. But so obviously the swimming pool is going to be, you're going to be in the swimming pool. Oh, I'm you? in the swimming pool now. I'm having a swim. <laughs> um, so yeah, th this is where the pool's going to be this way and uh, and then if we come over here so this area here I'm going to put a wall up and it's going to become a barbecue area so the kitchen like the second kitchen is in there and so people are going to be able to just pass food and whatnot through the window and then like I say big barbecue area here and and then obviously patio here for uh, eating Looks really nice. Mm. Well, let's go in and have a look at lights and see what you think. So, Anna, um, I need a bit of a help. I, I kind of think this is where the light should be and you're going to have to tell me what you think. So I'm thinking on our two extensions, we put three up lights mm -hmm. and then either side of the pillars, two up lights again. Yes. And then kind of like five, two the inside and then three up top shining on the uh... three up top yeah because you've got that kind of arch and then you've got the two oh, bits on yes. the side yes you're right that's going to be so yeah, i mean that's the right pieces. number well yeah also we're going to put some on lights we're going to put some um some of those like little ballard type things with with down lights for around the pool as well what do you think about that yeah, that's a good idea, and then maybe we can. So we I mean, have like you need to know how many we will need. Twelve. Sure. Yeah. The problem is, I've got to do all this, figure all this out before I pour any concrete, because those cables have to go in conduit in the concrete. I think because that's your domain, and I don't want to get it wrong, so I prefer you to do it because mm. you're going to do all the calculations. I think it looks good there. Well, little green crosses and little dots around the pool there. Nice. So let's look at the face of the building, so we know. Um, a bit more about lights. So basically, projector up on this wall, projector up on that wall, and that one, and then kind of like one across here, one there. So the same there, and then obviously here, 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 and then this is where it gets a little bit hard. I think we need two there, mm -hmm. two going up top to get all this, mm -hmm. and then one here. Because if you want to put a statue in there, at least you've got it lit up at night time. These aren't massive, like 200 watt um, lights. These are halogen lights. These are just little LEDs, so they'll they'll light up quite well, but they won't like 
be in your face. No, it's it won't just be like be... an airport, put it no, 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 just ambience. So getting to the top of the stairs, instead of going left or right, we're going to go straight on because we're almost there in this room, Anna. And with the two big windows, it's looking really bright in here. It does. I'd wow. say maybe one or two days off finished in here. So just, you've been, you've been going at it. Yeah. Because I haven't been able to help you much here because the kids only just started school. Yeah. And we're lucky that Emma goes to crash three days a week now, child school four days a week. So you've been, you've been busy. Yeah. I love the rosas that you've chosen here. It's the biggest one you can get on the website. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a big room. It needed a big rosas. So I was contemplating Cornish. Mm -hmm. No, I don't think it needs doesn't it. Doesn't need it. No. We got a nice big mirror on top of here. Um, get some nice pieces of furniture in to dress the room nicely. And do you want to have a look at the bathroom? I do. First of all, maybe go outside. Yes. Because it's a glorious day. It is a really nice day. It's a really nice day to go and look at the the tip that we've got over there. Well, it's a tip for the time being. Yeah. It's not going to be a tip forever. Mm. No, it's it's going to look Just really imagine, nice. Imagine looking to the left there and seeing a nice turquoisey blue pool. Big terrace. That's going to be really nice. And this is where you were saying that this. Yeah, this I want one. to shine one of. You see, we can just place one here, mm -hmm. shining up here. So you got the the, the date. date, and then of course, like I say, two up the top there, looking at the blazon. And nice. Yeah. It Good will idea. be. It'll be the poshest place in town, Anna. <laughs> <laughs> Let's yes. go and have a look at the bathroom. Yes. And then we'll see what else. I mean, I love the tiles here. How beautiful. A shower, a bath, and look at the view. I mean, not bad. And I like, I mean, I like the toilet there. And the double sink. I was going to say. No fighting. The toilet and the, yeah, the double sink. I mean, how nice is this? I like the shower. Behind there. Aha, uh -huh, it's a secret room. Hold on. This is going to be oh, it's a I've light up mirror as well. Very suave. That's going to be very nice. And then through here is probably your favorite bit. Yes, because this is going to be a walking wardrobe. Yeah. You're going to be able to access it through the bedroom. Mm -hmm. But also if you just had a shower or something. Come through here and yeah. then and this is going to be, I mean, it's quite big. Yeah, it's fairly very big. It's not. I mean, I'm sure there's bigger. I know we've got a decision to make for the big bedroom. I think now's the time to do it. It's something to, fun to do whilst we're finishing off the work. It's a signature one, isn't it? We always choose a mirror yeah. to put in a bedroom. And we have so many that we've collected over the years. Well, we've got a haul of mirrors now, Anna. We definitely do. I mean, it's hard to say which one will be the best fit. Certainly not this little one here, Anna. Right? Oh yeah, no, not That's the little That's maybe for like the little bedroom. I do like this one. I think this oh, is my favourite. Oh, that's beautiful. With the trumeau. Oh, how nice is that? And this, is it like a painting? Mm-hmm. Oh, this is stunning. How nice is this? Can you imagine that mirror at eye level? I think, yeah, this could be the mirror. Or we got the big or, one. Sorry, yes, there's more. There's always more with us. I mean, we, I think we have a thing for mirrors. I'm just going to, sorry, I know that you're showing that it's much. How big is it? Uh, it's got to be five foot, something like that. You are right. And a bit more, maybe, because I'm five foot two, I think. Yeah. You're looking at me, maybe I'm a bit less. Yeah, I think it's, yeah, it's taller. I mean, it's as tall as me. Nice. So the decision is between this one mm -hmm. and this one. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you something that you're not going to expect. Go on. Both. Both? This one is going to go above the uh, mantelpiece, above the fireplace. Mm-hmm. This one 
is going to go at the far end of the dressing room. Oh, but it's, it's so beautiful. It looks pretty cool. Imagine that Are as your dressing sure? room can we, mirror. Don't, Look, just, right, you come and stand and I'll... I know, but I was thinking this could be nice for like somewhere downstairs, like dining room or... Where we've already got a mirror. Yeah, but... Salon where we've already got two mirrors. I suppose so. It's pretty cool, Anna, to it's have a that beautiful leaning against mirror. the wall. Stand back a metre in front of the mirror. How does it work as a dressing mirror? It's perfect. I want it now. Mm. It's not going there. No, I'm joking. It's going to look amazing there against that just, wall. Just lean against that wall. Yeah. Pretty cool, no? It's beautiful. That one's not going to go into place, though, until we've done the floors. So that's going to yes. take a little while. No, we have. I mean, there's loads I, to do. I really like that idea. Do you like it? I know it's a nice mirror to do it with, but don't forget, it's only for dressing. It doesn't... Yes. It's no, I mean, it's not going to be still. there forever. And what I love, it's got like all these little, I'm going to say beans, I'm not sure what they are. They're all different. They're not even like this one is like this, like this. But yeah, somebody so. messed around with it. No, I think it was. <laughs> no, it was. It was done like that. But yeah. It's beautiful. Mm. Yeah, so I think, yeah, both. Both is a good. Okay, well, I'll pass you the cam camera back. Yeah. And we'll take that one up because this one can go. Oh, it's signed this. Is it? E. Berger. Berger? Ber Berger. E. E. Ber e. Berger. Burger. He's a clever burger. Is it E or F? F. F. Let's go close. F. F. Burger. We should, Never knew we, should look, we should look it up. Could be worth a lot of money, Anna. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think it was that old, this. I thought it was quite new. I think it was old, but then maybe... Right. Mm. Let's take the... Berger? Burger. Yes, F burger. Burger. Let's take the burger upstairs. What a strong man, Ed. I'm bending with the knees. Yes. Saving your back. Yeah. It's actually the lighter option. We have our little assistant here, Ed. I think she approves. She's loving it. Is it nice, Emma? Is it nice? Do you like it? You ready, Anna? I am ready. I can't wait to see it on. Does it go? That's the big question. What do you think? Oh, there's a little bit coming out there. That's nothing. Oh, there's a little hook on the back. So we just have a bit of a discussion, haven't we, Anna, about whether this this mirror goes? Yes. I think if we can find this kind of style paint. Mm -hmm. Because that's not hard to find, the crackly paint. Maybe if we do that, the, cr the same colour. Yes, it's going to... And then we've got the that. If we just clean this up, it's going to come kind of goldy like... Well, yeah, brass. brass. Gold! Gold, Emma's yeah. saying gold. So I think that's, that's our solution for that. That sounds like a good solution. So it all ties in together. Yeah. Plus with the rest of the furniture and everything. Yeah, I think with, I think that's the right the right way to go with it. If it doesn't work like that, then we just literally paint it white again, where we've painted the crackly cream. So we're not a hundred percent sure, but we absolutely love the Trimo anyway. So if it's not here, it, it's going to be in another place. So for but for the time being, we're going to try and make it work here and see how we can do it. Pull the other one up, Anna, so we can. Give that one a go. Yeah, you want to make sure we try both because that is gorgeous. This one's just mega, mega heavy. So 
we can secure again after. Mm -hmm. So I have a hard look. I think it looks better, but I'm not 100% sure either. I think it does look better. I don't think probably we get is this green filled marble. I don't think you're gonna get better. Really, it needs to be silver. We're not gonna paint that silver, it's a shame. I think silver would have gone better with that. I think it's, it's better and I like the fact that you still decided to bring it up and that we can always place somewhere else. Yeah, I think it's better. It is better. In a way it's more sophisticated as well. Okay, let's put this somewhere out of the build. We're gonna have to clean all this away and clean the floor. Yeah, we don't want it being damaged. I think it is looking good from here. And plus once everything is tidied up and finished. Yeah, I think polish up the stuff down below to have that connection and then paint the inside of it white. Yeah. And, and obviously the, the metal paint black. It's gonna all tie in together. So good choice on changing your mind. Yeah, it's a shame because I didn't want to put that as a... Trumeau. No, as a... Oh, well, I'm sure we'll have another one. I don't know whether we'll... Actually, we could steal one of the other ones from off one of the fireplaces, put it in there and put the true Yeah, so it's still going to be used because that's beautiful. <laughs>